What is up, good people? Jungle Link here. Hope you're having a great day, man. There were some interesting tweets by former SEC Regional Director Mark Fagel today. And in this article covering it, it's titled, Ex-SEC Director Says It's Reasonable for Judge Torres to Lock Ripple's XRP escrow accounts forever. And that really shouldn't have been the title of this article because when you really look at it, someone was telling him their dream scenario and he said, yeah, that might be kind of reasonable. He's not saying that's likely or that's going to happen, but this is big. And this is the quote of the day from Mark Fagel. He said the following, I think the SEC has the stronger legal argument on whether Ripple violated section five, but for various reasons, I think Ripple is more likely to win the case. Ripple being most likely to win the case by Darth Vader himself. And I don't say that with any disrespect. But when it comes to cryptocurrencies, he's usually on the SEC's side of things, right? He's not, uh, you know, a moon boy or something like that. He doesn't see crypto favorably. He believes strongly in the SEC, having worked for them in the past as a regional director and also beaten them at the Supreme Court level. This guy knows what he's talking about, and he's stating the following, Ripple is most likely to win the case or at least have the impact of the case be limited. Now, I was honest with Mark. I said, look, I'm getting ready to record a video. Could you give me a little more reasoning? Why do you think this? And he complied. He said, listen, I think the SEC's slow and erratic crypto response in and out of this litigation, so not just Ripple, but just overall, it's mishandling of the Hinman matter, the speech and related discovery battles, and the arguably novelty of certain legal issues could lead the judge or a jury to rule against the SEC. Look, nothing really matters at this point other than what the judge decides in summary judgment. This we know. But leading up to that moment, this is a big deal. This is someone that clearly is not a fan of crypto, not a fan of Ripple or XRP. They're just calling it like they see it. We've called in, we've listened to those hearings, we've saw all the updates, and I think most of us agree with his statement, and it's just good to see someone that knows what they're talking about seeing things quite similar to the way we do. There's a huge battle going on right now for cryptocurrency trade in the United States. We see Coinbase, Binance, clearly they're trying to corner this market. And I think the ruling on this XRP case is going to tell the SEC how aggressive they can be. Because let's be honest, Gary Gensler's probably running out of time here. He became SEC chairman to bring this space into compliance. If you hear his original interviews, he said things like, well, we need new authorities from Congress to go ahead and regulate this space. That ain't happening. He's had to pivot and just by force try to take you know control of crypto trade. But he's only got so much time, and I think this Ripple case will tell him how much authority he really has. This ain't EOS. This ain't Library Coin. This is Ripple, Coinbase, Binance, Billion Dollar Enterprises. If you come at the king, you best not miss, I'll tell you that. Win, lose, or draw, I think the Ripple decision will tell the SEC how they can really approach Coinbase in Binance and how much they can really demand. We all want a regulated space if we're in this for investing purposes. Look, crypto enthusiasts, you're always you know, against regulators and stuff like that. That's just in our DNA. But if you want the big money to come in, we want this space being regulated. And I think this is the biggest domino to drop to get us so close to making that happen. I don't anticipate the Coinbase lawsuit to drag on for three years like this. It's all in line. Let's see what happens with Ripple. And then from there, I think they could wrap everything else up and be ready for a big 2024 as they roll out new procedures, new requirements for these crypto companies. We don't want special rules. Just tell us what the rules are. Now, someone on Twitter, they notated, hey, you're a little bit more negative towards Ripple or XRP on Twitter than you are on your YouTube videos. Look, when I'm making a YouTube video, I try to really think about what I'm going to say, making sure that it's important, that I am being fair with the way I present things. On Twitter, it's more emotional. I just fire you know, stuff out at people, whether it's David Schwartz or whatever. I have certain opinions about the way the UNL is set up and how that affects things long term. Now, it's David's opinion. It doesn't really matter that as long as we have a few validators, consensus will make sure that payments settle in a trustless manner. And I don't disagree with that, 
my my thinking is more the long term, the voting aspect of things. The fact that you know someone thinks that micro payments that's the next big thing and. DeFi is less certain, so we don't get hooks, we don't get Codius, so we don't get any of this light smart contract capability. And so it's my opinion, and David Schwartz, Matt Hamilton, they all tell me I'm wrong, and who am I to argue with them? Like, those are professionals. But I just think that if you had a little better voting process there, it's a little more democratic, well, instead of, you know, putting everything on, on COIL and micropayments and COIL blogs... Like if we would have had more DeFi type stuff and light smart contract capabilities, I think we'd be in a better position. And I think a more democratic, you know, voting of all of that would be better for XRP, you know, in the long run. But I'm more apt to speak about that on Twitter because I'm just, you know, rambling on my thoughts. Where on YouTube, you know, I have a hard time presenting that because again, who am I? These are some of the best blockchain developers in the world telling me I'm wrong. So that's why you don't see as much of that kind of, you know, just random thought process running out here. Maybe it's not that important as an investor either. XRP is still a world-class, uh, you know, asset. It does what it does very well. And while I might poke at people on Twitter about various issues, doesn't mean that it really needs to come on this YouTube channel. And that is the only reason why you see a little bit of difference there. Let me know what you think down below. And as always, please like, please subscribe. The revolution will be televised right here on Jungle Link.